So, for the longest time I have told people that I have never really been afraid of anything. Now that is kind of an outright fabrication, because in my past, I used to have multiple different fears. How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another video. You already know what this is about, so let's just go ahead and get into it. When I was a kid, one of the first things I ever was afraid of, starting at about the age of four, one of my first fears was nicotophobia. Now, for those of you who don't know what nicotophobia is, it is the fear of the dark. I know. It's a big shock, right? A lot of kids have nicotophobia. A lot. However, for me specifically, it wasn't exactly that I was afraid of the boogeyman was going to get me, or like these nightmare stories that used to be told to people. It wasn't particularly that aspect. It was more the sense, the dread of feeling alone. For some reason, whenever I would head off to bed and it was dark, I would feel miserably alone. And back in the day, I used to have several stuffed animals to sleep with as well, so and that didn't really do much. As most kids do, I'm aware, but even so, that didn't change the fact. The fact of the matter was that I, regardless of what was around me, I always felt alone. And there was a point in time where I actually shared a room with a sibling of mine. Um, even then, dark in the room, still felt scared and felt alone. Now, this is a subconscious thing, and eventually, I did overcome it. But that took about four years. However, ironically, at around the time, one of the last years where I had that fear, I actually gained another fear through a dream that I had. Because at the time, I did not realize that dreams were symbolic. They weren't, like, literal or anything. In fact, they're never literal. That's not true, but for almost all the time, they're not literal. The fear that I had was apophobia, which has a different name. I forget the name of it, but that's the easier one to say. For those of you who don't know what that is, apophobia is the fear of bees. Generally, I don't mind, if never mind bugs. I used to play outside in a large dirt background, whether it was sometimes mud, sometimes dirt. It used to be me and my sister just literally throwing mud piles at each other. <laughs> um, but for some, and bugs did not bother me, aside from bees. There was this dream I had once, while still afraid of the dark, and I ended up having a dream where it was like this ginormous bee that pretty much was approaching me, and I'm pretty sure if I had gone through the entire dream, which I woke up right when the event I'm about to explain was about to happen, I would have been stabbed to death, because the bee was so big, and it basically was pretty much about to sting me right here. It got very close, and I woke up. Frightened out of my freaking mind. Now, this triggered a fear in me, and the apophobia was the fear. Now, these, this one is not even remotely as common as, like, nyctophobia, arachnophobia. Um, th there are several phobias that are way more common than that. That one is actually one uh, only I've, of hundreds of thousands of people that I've met, I'm the only one who's ever been afraid of bees at any point in time of his life. And I have a tendency to come across people who end up being very open about this kind of thing. In fact, most of the time, it's heights that people were afraid of. Or needles. Extremely common phobias. Apophobia was one very specifically only I knew I was afraid of. Of course, this didn't last very long. Maybe until I was about... I was either 12 or 13 when I stopped being afraid of that. 
The reason that the weird thing is what caused this is a bee stinging me. Natural instinct, and maybe I was older, I don't remember. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I think I was, I think I was 13. I think. It's been, it's been a long time. The past few years have been, like, the past 15 years for me have been so blurred and so mashed out and together. It's hard to differentiate what happened when. Unless it's written down, which I've always been very bad at. Either way, the event that caused me to stop fearing bees was a bee stinging me. It was more the idea that what I learned through that was that bees don't sting you unless you attack them first. Now, the weird thing about this one is that my family was visiting a, like, family friend, a group of family of friends who have been... The father of this group had been friends with my dad since before college, his college days, and, well, <clears throat> we were visiting them in, um, Seattle, Washington, I believe it was, Lake Chelan, Lake Chelan, Washington, and we were going to, like, this, uh, water park, and a bee lands on, like, the back of my hand, I don't remember if it was this hand or this hand, but... I remember smacking, thinking it was a fly, and feeling stung. I was like, oh. wait, that's it? Nothing happened. The bee died, of course. Now, it would have died anyway, regardless, because when a bee stings you, that's pretty much it taking its life. I think, if I remember correctly. It does hurt a bee, though, to sting. But the bee was kind of dead anyway, because I kind of smacked it to death. Either way, after that, I kind of told my parents, I can't remember whether it was my dad or my mom who I told out of fear that something was going to happen to me, and they were like, eh, it's nothing. And I was like, wait, what? They basically then told me the rest. Like, they, they're not that harmful. They don't attack you unless you attack them. Which is the case with a lot of bugs. Not every bug, but a lot of bugs, apparently. I learned, apparently I learned that then, rather than earlier on, because me not be that smart then either. <laughs> I don't know. But those two were basically the two fears I had. The ni I guess the nyctophobia... I guess it's not really nyctophobia I had, it was the fear of being alone. I can't remember the name of that one. So I kind of just started blaming the dark. So I, I do remember always claiming that I was afraid of the dark rather than afraid of being alone. In fact, I don't think I was willing, I've ever really been able to admit fear of being alone or losing someone up until about two years ago. Either way around, those are my fears that I have ever had. Kind of interesting to think about now, honestly. Now that I think, now I actually am thinking about it. I'm like, I never thought of that. And now I am, and I'm like, hmm, this should be something I should talk about, because you know, something to keep record of, to let somebody who sees this tease me, because I know it's gonna happen. Either way, yeah, those are the two fears I've ever had: nyctophobia, nyctophobia, and apophobia. What did you guys think of this video? Um, if you liked that kind of open up kind of thing, especially in this in this particular video, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel because I do one of these type of videos where it's me discussing something about myself like this video, or a random topic that I'm like, you know what, I want to talk about this kind of thing. I do those every day including one game video. However, if you did miss any that I've already done, you'd want to check out kind of what I mean before considering any of that, check out the playlist on the sides of my head. Uh, as you can see, one of them says about me, the other one says discussion and rant. It kind of depends on the kind of things you're into. I also, as I said, do gaming stuff as well. 
consider checking out the channel at least if you like uh, comedic gaming type, type stuff, because I do a lot of those, as I said, once every day alongside one of these. However, in the meantime, I'm going to head off, but I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.